have a very pertinent question, which I, I think probably um, a lot of people might sort of empathise with. This is from um, Jean Glasberg, uh, who's actually on the FECRA committee, but also chair of Noonan Croft. She says, most people still have no idea of these Oxcam art plans, so generally of these all these arcs. But those of us who do and are very worried about their impact are trying to raise awareness through meetings like this. What more can we do in a situation where consultations are tick box exercises and leading politicians from all the political parties are completely signed up to the growth agenda? Any thoughts and perhaps some, you know, I, well, I, other people have wanted, may want to stick up their hands as well on this, uh, yeah, but you know, it, it, have it, your thoughts first. It, it comes as a surprise, but it, in fact, MPs are rather frightened of us in numbers. So, for example, if an MP gets 10 letters a week on the same topic, it goes to the top of his or her agenda. So, I think if we basically engage with our MPs, don't just write one letter and forget about it forever. Write them a letter every month. Say, look, I've heard this is happening, I've heard this is that's happening. What are you going to do about it? And we had a very useful parliamentary event uh, about last month, and we got four outstanding uh, Oxcam Arc MPs to speak against the Arc. It was Leila Moran, Annalise Dodds, Richard Fuller, and um, Greg Smith, uh, two Tory MPs, one Lib Dem and one Labour MP. And uh, Richard Fuller ended his short speech by saying, look, uh, the people in Bedford, they're really fed up with the rate of development, the high rate of development and the addition of new houses. It is time to scrap the Oxcam Arc. Those were his very words. We need to get more MPs thinking that way. Amersham and Chesham by-elections really rattled the government because they'd won that seat for the last 13 uh, occasions, elections. They lost it this time around, partly on HS2, partly on the high growth agenda. We can make this an electoral, uh, 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 electoral um, uh, problem for MPs. And that's what we tried to do in the May County Council elections uh, with our campaign and Facebook campaigns. One thing that um, we're very poor on is social media. And social media seems to be where many MPs go for their information. So any of us or anybody who knows people active on social media, uh, MPs especially seem to like Facebook, please follow them on Facebook. Anytime they comment on anything to do with the ARC, comment back. Uh, alert them, for example, to our alternative consultation, alert them to our website, alert them to our webinars. It's just a sort of, it's a drip, drip feed that we have to start now. And the reason why the question said, we don't know much about the ARC is that the government has actually almost intentionally kept all the information uh, about the ARC behind closed doors. Okay, I'm just...